Hi everyone, welcome to Learn to Grow, Not to Know. So today is 5th June and today is World Environment Day. So I wish all my viewers happy World Environment Day. So let's start the video. So in this session we will learn about the natural disaster that is cyclone. So cyclone is a natural disaster. There are two kind of disasters. There are man-made and natural disasters man-made disasters like war then uh, terrorism these all are man-made disasters and natural disasters like earthquake cyclone flood these all are natural disasters okay so what is the meaning of disaster disaster is a sudden accident that can cause a huge damage or loss of life so that is disaster so this is also natural disaster cyclone is a natural disaster now what do you mean by cyclone or hurricane or typhoons see well they all are basically the same thing they are given different names depending on where they are appear or where they occur okay so that is the regional terms according to the location of the cyclone so this hurricane typhoons they all are same they all are uh, they they are not different okay so the scientific term for all these storm is tropical cyclones so the storm that is the tropical storm for that the scientists have given the name tropical cyclones okay so the cyclone is violent rotating wind storm it is known as cyclone so cyclone hurricane and typhoons these all are same let's see the location of this cyclone according to that they have name given so this hurricane are tropical storms that form over the north atlantic ocean and north eastern pacific so north atlantic ocean and north eastern pacific this cyclone the name according to the location of this cyclone the name is given hurricanes okay so that is not different from the cyclone that is the same but they occur here according to the location the name is given so north atlantic and north eastern pacific now cyclones that this name is given they are formed over the south pacific and indian ocean okay south pacific and indian ocean so that's why they are the name is given cyclone and typhoons this name is given because they are formed over northwest pacific around the japan china philippines okay so the name is given typhoons because they located here cyclones located here that's why the name is given typhoons so they all are similar they all are same but the name is given according to the location where they occur or where they are appear okay so don't confuse between these three terms a hurricane cyclones and typhoons they all are same okay now as you can see here the south pacific north pacific north atlantic south atlantic indian ocean southern ocean north pacific okay south pacific these all are the name of the oceans so according to their occurrence of the cyclones the name is given now let's see tropical cyclone now this sign that scientific term for all these storm is tropical cyclones so what is the tropical cyclones see tropical cyclones form only over the warm ocean warm ocean water near the equator see here this is the equator this is at the center it divides the earth into two equal parts that is the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so this is equator at the zero degree latitude and above that that is 23.5 degree here that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is uh, in the southern hemisphere that is 23.5 degree latitude okay so between these in this region this oceans which falls between these two important latitudes receives direct sunlight okay so the oceans which falls here between these two important latitudes tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn they receives direct sunlight okay and here this region receives slanting sun rays okay they don't receive direct sun rays and here this portion receives direct sun rays now direct sun rays fall on this part of the earth so these oceans are warmer due to the direct sun rays now we know that tropical cyclones form only over the warm ocean water right so these cyclones are formed when warm moist air from the tropical oceans blow from a different direction and gathered at one point 
ओके नाउ वॉट इज साइक्लोन वी नो दैट ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन फॉर्म ओनली ओवर द वॉर्म ओशन वॉटर These cyclones are formed when warm, moist air from the tropical oceans blow from different direction. From this direction, from here, from here. So, from different direction and gathered at one point. Okay, and gathered at one point. From there, they rise higher. See here. From there, they rise higher and form clouds. Now, what happened due to the rotation of the Earth? when these clouds form a cluster cluster means this like this in the center there is the eye and eye wall so that is the cluster of the cloud okay due to the rotation of the earth now group of many clouds they will gather here and they will form a cluster and start rotating now what is the meaning of tropical depression tropical depression is a relatively weak tropical cyclones which maximum sustain winds that is maximum speed of the winds is 38 miles per hour so tropical depression is the wind speed is 38 miles per hour or less or you can say it is 62 km per hour now if it continues to develop further then it becomes tropical storm okay now which maximum sustain winds is 39 to 73 miles per hour this tropical storm the speed of the wind or the sustained wind of tropical storm is 39 to 73 miles per hour that is 63 to 118 km per hour so that is the more dangerous than tropical depression and later a cyclone so that is that exceed the 119 km per hour that is 74 miles per hour so the speed of the wind the sustained winds is the speed is 74 miles per hour or you can say 119 km per hour or more than that so that is cyclone okay so that is gradually it will increase the speed of wind will increase so that is tropical depression 38 miles per hour then tropical storm 39 to 73 miles per hour and then at last cyclone that is 74 miles per hour that is the speed so more than that also 74 miles per hour and more than that so that is the sustained winds according to that names are given now who is responsible for forecasting naming and distribution of warnings or issuing warnings for tropical cyclones the indian meteorological department imd is responsible for forecasting that is prediction of the cyclone forecasting is done with scientific method okay so that is known as forecasting that is prediction of the cyclone so it is responsibility of the indian meteorological department and for issuing warnings when necessary so that is the responsibility of imd this is the logo of indian meteorological department that is bharat mausam vigyan vibhag okay now why is it important to name cyclones because with a name it is easy to identify individual cyclones or it is easy to remember right so warning reach a much wider audience very rapidly so they give name to the cyclones okay and increased community preparedness okay create awareness of its development so for this reason uh, the they give name to the cyclones and also remove confusion where there are multiple cyclonic systems over a region okay so that's why they give names to the cyclones okay how are the cyclones named so in 2000 a group of nations called see that is a uh, world meteorological organization or escap that is united nations economic and social commission for asia and the pacific so that a uh, group of nations total 13 country in 2000 there were only 8 countries were there bangladesh india maldives myanmar oman pakistan thailand and sri lanka they decided to start naming cyclones in the region okay so after each country sent in suggestions the wmo that is world meteorological organization panel on tropical cyclones finalized the list 
ओके नाउ इन 2018 फाइव मोर कंट्रीज इंक्लूडेड दे आर ईरान कतार सऊदी अरेबिया यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स दैट इज यू ए एंड यमन नाउ दीज कंट्रीज आर ऑल्सो एडेड सो टोटल थर्टीन कंट्रीज हियर ओके सो हाउ दे गिव द नेम इन अप्रिल थर्टीन सजेशन फ्रॉम थर्टीन कंट्रीज आर गिवेन सो हियर this is the previous list that is only eight countries were there and each countries were given eight names they start like this so first column they will complete then second column and then third column likewise so see the last cyclone was amphan and this recently this nisarg cyclone that the name is given by the bangladesh okay the next cyclone will be gati this name is given by india Gati, Nivar, Burevi. These all names are given. Likewise, they will go according to the column. Okay, so the each country has given thirteen names of the cyclones. Okay. Now the guidelines or the rules. The name is accepted by the panel on uh, tropical cyclones that finalizes the selection. So the first rule name should be neutral to politics and political figures religious beliefs cultures and gender so it is it should be neutral name should be neutral second it does not hurt the sentiments of any group of population over the globe third rule it should not be very rude and cruel in nature fourth rule it should be short easy to pronounce and should not be offensive to any member of the country fifth the maximum length of the name will be eight letters sixth the proposed name should be provided with its pronunciation and voice over so the each country will give pronunciation and voice over seventh rule is the names of tropical cyclones over the north indian ocean will not be repeated so the name will not be repeated once used it will cease to be used again thus the name should be new name is accepted by the panel on tropical cyclones that finalizes the selection thank you like share and subscribe my channel learn to grow not to know